Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another episode of The Mikey Show. And what you're looking at here is a set of MagnaPan LRS Plus. These are phenomenal panel speakers, planar magnetics, as you may know, that are made in the United States and are, in my opinion, the best value in speakers today. It's just tough to beat. Those are $1,000, okay, for the pair, only 1000 bucks. And uh, the imaging that they provide, because they, they're, you know, they're this thick, you know, from front to back. It's just like a thin piece of, uh, it's a panel, and we'll go up and look closer. The, you, get a, you get a back wave and a front wave, and this, what it, what it does is it causes a, a massive sound stage. That's why I have these panels. I love panels. Boxes typically, unless they're open on back, will have a more of a centralized, uh, they can sound boxy unless you do a very elaborate cabinet. Um, so panels have always been a favorite of mine. The problem is with these MagnaPan panels, you can't expect them to do everything, especially at $1,000. And where MagnaPans fall short is in the base category. You want to augment with bass using MagnaPans. Now, I feel that's the same all the way up to these seven foot tall. And these are not even MagnaPan. These do bass much better than MagnaPan. But I still use three subwoofers for each seven foot panel. What you're seeing here in white is a scaled down version of what you see in the black. And what I've created for you guys is a shrunken is a way to do what Mikey does in his room for a lot less money and for and, and in a lot smaller footprint. So you can do it in smaller rooms and you get huge results. If you guys know me and you've been watching me for a little while, you will know that uh, I like to disrupt the common narrative. A lot of it is marketing, a lot of it is baloney. And I set out to prove to you that it's baloney. Now, I don't just sit and talk and bump my gums. I actually make stuff and create solutions to prove to you that I know better. This is an example of that. These I call the MagnaPan Platinum Mod. These are intended to take the MagnaPan LRS Plus, which you provide, and take them to the level of a 20, even more $1,000 speaker. I hate to say this, but I was listening to some $90,000 Magicos the other day, and they did not sound this good. Sure, they're prettier. Sure, they're built to a higher level. Absolutely. You know? But this is a disruptive product. This is something you would never see anybody other than somebody like me bring to market because... This messes everything up. This scrambles people's brains. When you realize that for 5,500 bucks for this pair of speakers, you've got something that hits as hard as a $25,000 speaker um, and gives it a run for its money. Now, sure, it's not as refined. It doesn't have the same materials as a $25,000 speaker. But I'm telling you, for the people that don't have $25,000 to spend on speakers, this is a huge gift to the audiophile community. Here's the MagnaPan LRS Plus up close. You can see the thickness of this thing. You know, it's, it's, it's just a thin panel. I have custom powder-coated brackets to hold it. And we've got a pass-through that you can see right there where the speaker cable passes through from the back. Okay, so for the panel, which is the high, it's just a direct pass-through. And then I've got another pair of binding posts on the back, which you can see over there, which is for the subwoofer. Now, if I come over to the side, you can see it's a beautiful high excursion subwoofer. Again, this is not made in China. And you can see right here, Jeff Roland 125, which provides for the high and the low output. Now, in this package, I'll break down the package for you. If, if, and this is a complete back-end solution, including the speakers and the subwoofer. So there's the subs. There's the MagnaPans. There's two Jeff Rowland Model 125s. There are two six-foot power cords that are Viristar Nemesis. And there are four four-meter XLRs, 
one for each. There is a Sublime crossover set up for this exact project, and that is set up as a two-way. This crossover is also configurable as an active three-way, which means in this case, we could add another Jeff Roland amp. All we have to do is bypass the crossover that's in the magna pan there, and we would have one amp channel for the tweeter, one amp channel for the woofer, one amp channel for the sub. Okay, and they would all come back to here and you could set independent gains for each level so you get the mix perfect for your room. Right here is a baffle step correction knob. What that does is that allows you, there's a switch inside at three different frequencies to cut by 6 dB from that frequency up. So it cuts the highs from three different frequencies all the way up by 6 dB. So that is e basically a way to EQ. It gives you a little more control over the sonic. So between these controls, you get the sub completely dialed in to blend perfectly with the magna pan. Now you can either have the subs on the outside pointing out or you can have them pointing inside. You can have your magna pan tweeters on the outside or on the inside. So you have four different ways to set them up. They still need to break in, but I can tell you from the initial listening tests, this is going to be something that really elevates these magna pans to an extremely high level. I'm sitting here listening to what is a small version of the big rig here. It's a fully active dual biamp setup with planar magnetics and a sub integrated. Also has the riser, which you realize. This rises up the magna pans, which needs to happen with these little guys. They need to be 10 inches up or, or more uh, so that you get the image. Uh, and they need to be perpendicular rather than leaning back like the factory feet. Because you want the image going to your ears, not to the ceiling above your head. And when they lean back, it points the image up and you're out of the image. So these things need to be perpendicular. If you have magna pans and they're on the floor stands, you're not getting the proper MagnaPan performance. So anyways, I thought I would bring this to you to let you enjoy what I've been working on. I know it's taken a little time, but here it is. I will have these things ready for sale in about 30 days. And you guys can, there will be a limited amount. I can't make endless amounts of these things. Um, and man, there's going to be a handful of lucky people that will be able to take their MagnaPan LRS Plus and simply bolt them up to this and plug and play. And you can do as little or as much as you want. You can have just the box. You can put your own amps in and buy all the other um, cables and the, and the, and the uh, crossover. It's up to you how much or little you want to do. But anyways, thanks for joining. See you.